what I love about television that's being made now is it's allowing us to examine women in a deeper way. I feel like when I left drama school 10 years ago, the scripts I were, was getting were just so base level. You were somebody's girlfriend or you were something to do with a the man. They didn't pass the Bechdel test. And I just, I don't know whether it was a coincidence that I didn't get the jobs, but I just fe could feel nothing for them. And then when you see characters like Penelope and Eloise, you think they're real, they feel real, they feel three dimensional and their love for one another. And it's so beautiful. And it, but their relationship is real too, because they, they argue, you know, they have, we hated shooting that falling out. We absolutely hated it, didn't we? And that was actually the last scene we shot, which was really <laughs> unfortunate, the sort of fight between the two of them, but yeah. I kind of like, I, I'm aware as well with those girls that they, they are pretty sheltered, mm -hmm. right? Like they come from like quite nice backgrounds. Like I don't think Penelope comes from the most emotionally stable background. Like as I said, I think it's quite uh, fractious, uh, but like they both come, like, they're, they're privileged, do you know what I mean? In their, like in their settings, but yet you still see them struggling with their role as young young women coming into some bizarre ritual <laughs> where you're sort of dancing for your future partner <laughs> it's completely bonkers isn't it so I like that you can see that but also their sort of their backdrop has given them the freedom as well to explore with each other in their heads of what if, if there's more for them because actually a lot of people you wouldn't have had the choice to even ruminate on something like that as well. So obviously it is about, you know, there's a, there's a privilege of status there that allows them to have uh, this explorative um, sort of uh, spirit. Um, but I think they all may feel like honorary parts of each other's family. Yeah. Like, um, so like definitely Penelope feels like an honorary Bridgerton. Um, and I reckon she has always been welcomed in. They've grown up opposite each other. They found sort of curiosity in each other. They both want to read. They, you know, they don't, they, the idea of going to university would be like, well, cool to them. And they probably wouldn't really have many people around them that, they, they, mostly their reactions to that would be like, okay, <laughs> from their friends and family. But with each other, it's like, yeah, me too. And yeah, they they're get to do that. You know, they just, but yeah, they really are. And I think they just have such a proper deep love for one another. It just felt very real and beautiful.